Hello everyone, it's Jaren with NCSI here again to talk about the latest release from Neurons, which is the 2024.4 October release. There is a lot to cover in here, so I'm not going to try and do it all in one video. Today I want to focus on a couple of things here in patch management. The first one is deploy by risk. So previously we had to deploy either based off of a severity um, or a group, or we could also filter by vendor slash product. Now we're able to patch based off of the vulnerability risk rating, the common vulnerability scoring system, or the known exploited vulnerabilities. And to do that, all you have to do is access your patch configuration, choose one of your schedules, scroll down, and here it is right here. This switch did not exist before, but now it does. So we will automatically deploy anything that is based off of a VRR score of eight. This does, as you can see, have decimals so you can go to you know 8.9 um, we also have the cvss score which also supports decimal places and then we can also deploy patches for exploited vulnerabilities so big improvement here uh, we used to be able to just report on these two but now you can report on them and patch on them as well as patching just exploited vulnerabilities this is of course on top of our other filters that we've had by uh, deploying it by severity um, deploy by exclude or sorry deploy or exclude by patch group and this new feature which we're going to talk about now and that is enablement packages so we now have the ability this was missing for quite some time in neurons but it was available in the other patching products such as endpoint manager and security controls um, several versions of windows 10 and windows 11 share core operating system and system files a number of features exposed in newer versions also exist in previous versions in a dormant state. Hence, an enablement package can be deployed to activate these features. Very handy. Uh, we are able to do this now. Uh, that is the button that you see here. Uh, choose enablement packages for deployment. So you will recognize all of our favorites here. Windows 10. Windows 11 course Windows 10 is done this is the last package that we'll have for that 22h2 but you'll see enablement packages as well for Windows 11 23h2 we can show the superseded packages just like we can with other patches that's what that little icon means is superseded but to deploy it you would simply choose which ones you wanted to deploy and save your configuration and now these builds of Windows would be enabled for your users. There is lots more to come, though, in Neurons for Patching. We have a lot more features to cover, some of them which aren't even turned on yet in my tenants. So we'll be coming back to this. Please uh, subscribe and like the channel. Turn on the little bell there if you want to be notified when a new video comes out. And until next time, I'll see you later. Have a great day.